be honest with you. We have our five finalists that I'm going to introduce to you now, and they are five of 10,000 completions during this judging period. So this is an elite, elite group. So let's get right into it. So the first person that I want to welcome to the stage, uh, you know, he, he was the first, he's one of our first, uh, as we looked at it, we, we seem to have a lot of coming out of Gilbert, a lot of coming out of, out, out of uh, Canada. It's actually amazing. I don't know what's in the water, but I don't know, I'm drinking out of a different faucet apparently. But uh, one thing I will tell you is that uh, this individual, um, when we look at what he's been able to do, he travels a ton. In fact, when he was on his, in his isobody challenge, he was actually on the road 12 of the 16 weeks during the challenge. Um, and the great thing about it is he says the convenience of this was basically what basically helped him have the success that he did. So we are excited to talk a little bit about uh, this. We're going to bring to the stage the one and only from Gilbert, Arizona. Please welcome 44-year-old John Jury. Yeah. Yeah. Get a quick snapshot to uh no, no. We, this, I told them they did, they could eat last night because because they didn't have to reveal anything and you know get all cut for celebration. But his shirt goes like this, but it goes Drrr. not that I felt it. It's amazing. So yeah, yeah, JT would go. So, you know, when we think about, you know, what's your kind of your go-to advice when you're thinking about somebody that's, you know, a big traveler, they're out there a lot, they're like, I can't do the challenge because I just know that my, my eating habits are not going to be good on the road. You were able to do it, though. Twelve weeks on the road, and you killed it. So talk to us a little bit about that. So done. Hello? Okay. First thing I like to say is the advice I give to people that are on the road a lot is be prepared. You can never prepare too much. And so what I love about Isogenics is it makes it easy for me. So when I get back next week, or when I get back tomorrow at 12.45, I gotta get on a plane at eight o'clock tomorrow night, and I'm gonna restock my bag. It makes it so easy and convenient, like you said. And you guys have made it really easy and convenient with all these samples out there. I am fully stocked <laughs> for the next week. So secondly is I set up a no excuse workout for myself, hotel gym, a hotel room, it makes it easy. And the last thing I say, plug in, plug in, plug in. We have so much amazing tools. The Facebook Isobody page keeps me accountable and it just gives me inspiration while I'm on the road. And the healthy mind and body, it creates your vision and your goal of where you want to go. And can I show you something real quick? Uh, 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 oh, I thought it was going to be something real different. Uh, uh, so this is the goal and vision I created for myself during this last challenge. And it was so I could bring my queen to this amazing castle to have a second honeymoon with her. So this is truly what I believe. Hardcore be slow for me, you will get there. And the last thing I want to say is if you have a plan, you have the convenience of isogenics, and you have a goal, you are unstoppable. Yeah! Uh, and if Suffered, suffered uh, a devastating loss while in the middle of her first ice body challenge. <clears throat> and she's uh, taken her body, her mm -hmm. business, and really her outlook on life, her mindset, everything to the next level. Uh, she found a community that supported her in a very big way. Um, she is uh, really, we had a chance to talk last night with all of these guys, and there was a lot of tears shed last night. And I'm telling you, this lady is absolutely incredible for what she has done. Uh, I want to welcome to the stage, she is a 34-year-old, uh, uh, 25 pounds lost on her challenge. She has an amazing uh, little family, which we're very honored to, uh, to recognize. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage from Canada, Alberta, Canada, Melanie Faulkner. <laughs> You know what, we had a, we had a great time uh, talking last night, and uh, 
I think the one thing that's really incredible is the legacy that you're building, you know, for your, for your kids. And uh, I know that's a, a very tender part for you, and I know that it's something that uh, it's driving you each and every day. You're a stay-at-home mom, right? And you're, and you're working the business uh, very hard with real intent. And uh, I just want to know, what is it that, about this that's really gotten you through the tough times? It's really helped you kind of not only push through a very difficult time in your life, but it's also you found motivation to keep going and to really build your business. Ooh, hi. <laughs> um, Isobata gave me a healthy outlet to deal with the loss of my husband and um, got me back in the gym. And uh, not only have I become stronger mentally, emotionally, but having a strong body physically has been a great gift and taking good care of myself during my grieving process, because um, I'm grieving for three, <laughs> um, is really helping me to be a better mother in the long run. So it's better for them and it's better for everyone. Excellent. Let's give it up for Melody. <laughs> Our next finalist completed his first a Masters National Champion swim meet at 11, after 11-year 11 hiatus. Uh, he's kicked his sugar addiction, he's lost 57 pounds, he's been in two isobody challenges. Uh, he is from Oregon. Uh, it is, and, and unfortunately he could not be with us here at Top Achievers, but we certainly want to recognize him. We get to see him at Celebration. 48-year-old uh, Philip Regents, so give it up for him. <laughs> All right, our next finalist, she said that once, you know, she was feeling imprisoned in her own body, and once she actually, she, she thought she was so hot after she lost 20 pounds, she was like, I have got it going on, but then she went to lose over 100 pounds, and so did her husband. So this, 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 this couple is absolutely amazing, in fact, uh, he actually became one of our honorable mentions as well, but to, together they are traveling all over, uh, sharing not only uh, what they what they have been able to do, but they're actually losing weight, staying on their challenges a lot while they're traveling throughout the country. Uh, you know, the one thing that's amazing is that uh, when you when you lose that much weight and continue to just kind of have it just melt off, but then to add lean muscle mass on top of that is just a feat in and of itself. So we are very excited to welcome to the stage from Indio, California. Please welcome 54-year-old Laura Hyman. picture because that doesn't look at all like her, does it? So you've done an amazing job, you and your husband, and I'm telling you we are so proud of you and what you've been able to accomplish. Uh, I would like to know though, you guys are busy, you're active, you're on the go. Uh, just tell us a little bit about, you know, what is that like? I mean, you guys, I feel like you're kind of aging into health, right? I mean, I feel like it's something where, you know, you guys just keep getting stronger and better, and uh, just tell us a little bit about how you're going about that. Woo! Yeah! Thank you guys. Um, I think we found the fountain of youth. Um, I feel better now than I did in my 20s. Um, Myron and I are enjoying outdoing our kids and our grandkids. Um, these adventures that we're having are just amazing. And going to the gym is essential now. We love it. Um, this muscle thing is no joke, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and getting the strength that we have to just live life. I'm just looking forward to all the new adventures with my best friend, my husband, and I think we're unstoppable now. We're gonna keep going forever. Okay. <laughs> forever. All right, thank you. Give it up for You know, he said he went, uh, basically, when he would look at himself in the mirror, he didn't like who he saw, didn't even recognize who he was. 
Uh, and not only did he change that, but he gained an incredible amount of lean muscle mass. Uh, his self-esteem went through the roof. Uh, he's disciplined. Uh, he's got just these amazing ways that he's trying to push his body at over 60 years of age uh, into a whole different realm. He says he's doing things now that he's never been able to do. And when I asked him last night, I said, you know, are you, are you feeling like you're at what, you know, what age, you know? And he said, you know, I feel like I'm not even at 30. I feel like I'm, and he wanted to say 20 so bad. He almost did, but that's about where he's at, I think, mentally. He's doing some incredible things. Uh, so please welcome to the stage after gaining 15 pounds of lean muscle mass from Kapa, Hawaii. Please welcome Randy Peters. Yeah! Randy. So a little inspiration there. Kathy is here. Uh, and, and I will tell you that, uh, Randy, I mean, you look great. Uh, I watch you on social media. You're doing some really weird things with, like, punching bags, flipping upside down, wrapping his legs around and doing so. I don't know how you do it, uh, but you're showing really a, an opportunity for all of us, I think, especially as we, we age. But I will, will ask you this, though, Randy. You know, you go to the gym a lot. Some of the young bucks are, uh, are, are, are checking you out, which is... In a good way, right? I mean, I, not any other way, but they, uh, they, uh, they basically, uh, they're watching what you're doing. You're chiseling out, and, and I'd like to know, what do you tell these guys when they walk up to you and say, hey, what are you doing? I mean, you look great, and they find out your are blown away. Uh, what, what's your go-to advice for them? Well, Doug, <laughs> I always lead with the question, what's your nutrition? That always throws them off totally because they're expecting me to go right into it, you know, the exercise workout. And then I tell them I use Isogenics. My go-to, what I say to them after that point is focus on your core, practice perfect form, and be consistent. That's it. That's it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Peters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage, Jim and Kathy Cooper. tell you that you know as we look at this we think about uh, how many of these guys generally anybody that loses weight that 